What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English vid. In today's video, we're going to learn 10 advanced expressions that will make your speech more engaging when taking the guy and proficiency exams. Are you ready? So take your notebook and let's kick off. Before we start, I'd like to thank Lingoda for sponsoring today's English bit. Lingoda is an online language school where you can learn English, business English, Spanish, French and German. The exciting thing about Lingoda is that it allows you to have classes anytime from anywhere in virtual classrooms with qualified native teachers. Right now, Lingoda is running an amazing language marathon challenge. If you attend 90% of your classes, you can get a cash reward. I'm going to tell you about this marathon in detail later on in the middle of the video, but if you want to know right now, you can click on this timestamp in the description box. And now let's get down to business. The first expression we're going to learn today is it stands to reason. It's level C2 and we use this expression to say that something is obvious, understandable or clear from the facts. For my Spanish students, in Spanish it would be parece lógico. And now let's look at two examples with this expression. The first one, it stands to reason that the more countries cooperate to slow down global warming, the better outcome will be. And the second example, it stands to reason that you need to be constant and train hard if you want to finish the marathon. And now let's move on to our expression number two, which is also level C2, and it's to take a turn for the better or a turn for the worse. And it means to become better or worse, especially quickly or suddenly. En castellano, mejorar o empeorar. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I hope that the political situation in Spain will take a turn for the better soon. And the second example, Jessica's work-life balance has taken a turn for the worse since she got promoted. Let's continue with our expression number three, which is in line with something. It's also level C2, and it means to be similar to something or to be at the same level as something. In Spanish, it would be en línea con o acorde con algo. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, needless to say, pensions should be in line with the cost of living. And the second example, my point of view is in line with yours. This sentence can be especially useful for your speaking part three. Let's continue expression number four, to have a vested interest in something. It means to have a strong personal interest in something because you could get an advantage from it. En castellano, tener un interés particular o personal. And now, two examples. The first one. The traditional car industry has a vested interest in putting a spanner in the works when it comes to electric cars. The idiom to put a spanner in the works is really interesting and useful, and it means to do something to prevent a plan or activity from succeeding. En castellano sería poner palos en la rueda. And the second example, there is a lot of vested interest in the oil business. Now let's move on to our expression number five, which could be very useful for your speaking part one. And it's given the chance and the choice. Chance is American pronunciation and chance with long A is British. So this expression means if I could choose, si pudiera elegir. And now let's look at some examples. Imagine that in the first part of your speaking exam, you're asked where would you travel if you had the choice? And you could answer, given the chance and the choice, I travel to Japan, in my case. And you, where would you travel? And another possible question, where would you live if you could live anywhere in the world? And you could answer, given the chance and the choice, I'd pick Australia. Now I'd like to talk to you about the new language marathon challenge. More than 20,000 people have taken part in six Lingoda marathons over the last three years. After listening to students' feedback, Lingoda has done this new marathon even more flexible for busy students. 
Now you can start a language marathon challenge any time and any day of the year. You will take two or three classes per week when it suits you best. There are classes from Monday to Sunday at any time of the day or night. You can choose between private or group classes, which are very small, about five students per class. Now you only need to attend 90% of classes and not 100 to qualify for the refund. And last but not least, you can choose between a three month, a six month or a 12 month marathon. Let's look at group classes. If you choose a quarter marathon, you need to attend 40 classes over three months to get 50 euros back. Now, if you go for a half marathon, you need to take 80 classes over six months and you can get a 2050 euro refund. And if you decide to do the full marathon, in this case, you need to attend 160 classes and 600 euros will be refunded. And if you opt for private classes, you can get 120, 600 or 1,400 euros back, depending on the kind of challenge you choose. Check out short rules to get familiar with the refund. You can find the link in the description box. Now I'd like to give you some reasons why you should join this marathon. First, you're going to improve your speaking skills by moving beyond the textbook. You'll speak real life English. Secondly, you're going to overcome your fear of speaking and build confidence. In addition, you'll meet students from many different countries around the world. And finally, Lingoda offers a seven day money back guarantee if you meet the challenge. And of course, there is a bunch of reasons of learning a new language, in our case, English. Mastering English can help you find a better job, get a promotion, travel at ease, meet new people or pass an exam. I recommend you to read students' comments on their experience of learning languages on this platform by visiting Lingoda's website. And also check out their Instagram profile for more inspiring stories. Now I want to share with you my experience of learning German with Lingoda. I've tried out private and group classes and enjoyed both options. Let's watch a small extract from one of my classes. We imagine now the situation that we are maybe in the supermarket and we have this discussion what do we need? What okay. should we buy? Mm -hmm. um, what we want to cook tonight? And okay, so yeah. we, yeah. we are brauchen Bananen. Wie viel kosten die Bananen? Ein Euro. Ein Euro. Mm -hmm. Okay, dann kaufen wir die Bananen. Okay, gut. Und was ähm, kochen wir heute? Wollen wir Pasta kochen? Mit Tomatensauce? Oder wollen wir ein Hühnchen? Mit Chicken. Okay, Pasta. Pasta? Mhm. Gut, dann brauchen wir auch Tomatensauce. Tomaten. Tomaten. Okay, Tomatensauce. So, why did I like Lingola Classes? First, all the teachers I've had were amazing, very active, energetic, friendly, and they make you feel comfortable and relaxed. Secondly, it was great to share this experience with students from other countries. The classroom atmosphere was positive and pleasant. Thirdly, you're given a lot of interesting content. You can download a PDF before the class and you don't need to take notes as you have your PDF and you can go over it after the class. And another advantage is that you don't need to waste your time on getting to an academy. All you need is the internet, your smartphone, a computer or a laptop, and the sound and image are great. And after the class, you get your class report and you can also rate your teacher. Let's continue with our video, useful expression number six, that's not to say that, or this is not to say that. 
it's a synonym of that doesn't mean that. En castellano, eso no quiere decir que. And now two examples. The first one, the government has taken some effective measures to reduce pollution. That's not to say that the problem is sorted out. And the second example, I do like living in Spain. This is not to say I wouldn't move abroad. Now let's move on to our expression number seven. It comes as no surprise. It's a fancy and more advanced way to say it's not surprising. En castellano, no es de extrañar. The first example, her success comes as no surprise, as she's one of the most hardworking people I know. And the second example, it'll come as no surprise if you get an A in your upcoming exam, as you're putting your heart and soul into it. And now let's continue with our expression number eight, which is super useful if you talk about something that has both advantages and disadvantages. And the expression is, it's a double-edged sword. Be careful with the pronunciation, sword, long O. And in Spanish, it's es un arma de doble filo. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, artificial intelligence is a double-edged sword as it may also imply some threats to humanity. And the second example, genetically modified food is a double-edged sword. It's more nutritious, but we don't know what negative effects it may have on our health. Second to last expression, there is a faint, slight, slim, remote or outside chance of something. It means that there is a small possibility. En castellano, una pequeña posibilidad. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, there is a slight chance that your stolen bag will turn up. And another example, the exam didn't go as well as Tom had expected, but there is an outside chance that he'll pass it. And last but not least, a very nice expression. Let's end on this positive note or let's end on a positive note. You can use this expression when you want to finish a discussion with something positive, even though the interaction may have been negative. It's a very good expression to use in task 2 in your speaking part 3. En castellano sería, vamos a acabar con una nota positiva. So let's end on a positive note. For being English Beats students, you'll get a 25 euro discount on your first purchase. All you need to do is to use the code BITS. To sign up for the marathon, click on the link in the description box. There you can find further information about this challenge. And guys, when you complete the marathon, please let me know and share your experience. I will be very happy to know that you've taken your English to the next level. So I really hope you enjoyed this English bit and these 10 advanced expressions that will help you shine in your CAE and proficiency exams. If you did, don't forget to give this video the thumbs up, to subscribe to the channel and check out my Instagram account. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!